last session, just we had a discussion about, sir, what is the uh, HT, I mean, what is the, what is the HTML, what is the need of HTML concept, we covered already, right, okay? Sir, HTML, next to the basic idea about CSS also we covered. Sir, HTML, to define components, are getting to define components, we are going to use HTML tag. Next, what is the purpose of CSS, right? To style that HTML, to style HTML, some concept must be required. That concept itself is nothing but CSS concept, right? Okay. Next, uh, sir, make sure you people should be aware how, how to sir, style the elements. Are you getting how to style, style the HTML, right? Sir, there are some selectors are available. What those selectors are, basic selectors, basic CSS selectors, and the advanced selectors also available, right? But anyway, we are not the front-end developers, UI, UI developers, right? But anyway, you should aware the basic idea. Basic CSS selectors. How many, how many selectors are available, sir? Can you please spell out? Basic CSS selectors, sir. three selectors are there. Element selectors. Element selectors. What the second one, sir? ID selectors. ID selectors. Third one, sir. Okay, like a class selectors. Sir. Like a class selectors. Like three three selectors are available, right? Sir, element selectors applicable applicable for all for all occurrences of specified element. If you want, uh, sir, for every H1 there, for every H1 there, text color should be red. Regarding for every H1 tag, text color should be red. If you are using that, then automatically we can talk about element selector. For every occurrence of H1 tag, automatically this style is by default applicable. Such a type of thing is nothing but element selectors, right? Next, the ID selectors are nothing but, can you can you spell out, sir, what is the way, sir? For your particular ID, matched ID of your particular tag, this style is applicable. Okay, like, sir, now have a, have a look once. Suppose assume that I have three H1 tags are available, sir. Sir, I have three, three H1 tags are available, okay? Uh, sir, this is H1, H1 tag, H1 tag, this is H1 tag, something like, I have some three H1 tags are available, right? Sir, for all these three H1 tags, I want, I want the same style. Then happily we can go for element selector, okay, right? Suppose my requirement is, sir, for this, for this particular H1, for the first H1, for the first H1, I want a special style. Then what I can take, ID is equal to, okay, special H1, like this I can take, sir. ID is equal to special H1. So I want to define style only for this particular H1. Anyone, can you please guide, sir, how I can able to define CSS? Please guide, how I can able to define CSS? If it, is, uh, uh, if it is ID, ID related, right? Please guide, there is particular syntax is there. What is that, sir? Ash symbol, Ash symbol. What is that uh, special? What is the ID? Special H1. Like, uh, now you can say color is equal to something like blue, sir. Are you getting color is equal to blue? Sir, this style is applicable only for this particular, sir, ID related tag only. So, if I can take like this, it is applicable for all, for all the H1 tags, sir. But if I can take like this, sir, it is applicable only for matched ID. Only for matched ID is an but only for this one, right? Okay, that's all. Next, uh, third one, sir, class selectors, okay? Sir, for H1, this second H1 and the third H1, for second H1 and third H1, sir, I want to define, sir, some style, some style. What I will take is here, class is equal to, class, class is equal to, just I'm taking, sir. So, something like, uh, something, something like, uh, yes, sir, this is uh, some, some class, uh, special, special class, like this I'm taking, sir. Assume that, some name, some name I'm taking, special class. Even for this also, I'm taking some special class like this, right? Like, Observe. Now, if only one special one special tag is there, then automatically we can go for ID, sir. If multiple tags are there, I want to style, then better to go for class. Class is nothing but a group of things, multiple. Now, how you can able to define? Can you please tell what is the way, sir? Dot the symbol. Dot the symbol. What is the class name I took, sir? Special class like this, something like 
dot symbol special class okay like uh, color is uh, sir gray color or otherwise orange color like this i think sir now take a bit very special care that's all sir these are three selectors are by default considered yeah basic selectors any doubt any doubt about this one total how many how many basic csa selectors are there three selectors right element selectors id selector next and after that class selector id selector is always starts with the ash symbol next the class selector is always starts with the dot symbol this knowledge you people should aware sir okay like next just one one small thing i want to, i want to discuss right suppose assume assume that assume that h1 tag is there assume assume h1 tag is there sir this is uh, some data some data is there sir don't worry about the internal data next time after that here some paragraph is there sir so this is the big uh, big paragraph and so on okay this is the big big paragraph is there like uh, like uh, this is the paragraph tag is there sir okay next time after that one more one more h1 tag is there and one more paragraph tag is there sir assume that assume sir total how many tags are available how many tags are available here sir four tags sir. one is h1 second one is the p and then second one is the h1 and then p what i want to do for all these things sir, i want to define common styling are getting for all these tags of course these tags are not same not same different tags sir. common styling i want to make this total group as one division are getting i want to make this total as one division one division then what you can take sir div okay are you getting what i can able to take sir div like this right okay someone asked uh, who who is asking sunil i hope yourself right can you please explain about uh, uh, div tag div tag like sunil correct okay this is the div div now what i am taking sir here div tag div tag color is a red i am taking color is the red now this is a style applicable for all elements present inside div automatically applicable everyone can remember sir instead of defining for h1 instead of defining for p sir just uh, we can make uh, a group of elements uh, as one division for that div tag is going to be helpful sir you know div tag meant for css styling only if you are not going to use any style style kind of thing then automatically div tag is the meaningless sir. remember that sir div tag meant for styling purpose only if you are not going to use div tag then automatically we are not required we are not required not required to have you know right sir this is css if you are not going to use div tag is meaningless sir. remember that. next uh, sir if if you have multiple divs are there if you have multiple divs are there sir this is one div one div like uh, multiple divs are there second div third div and so on but i want style only for particular only for particular div then you should require to talk about id are getting right either id or otherwise class you can take are getting id and the class you can able to take sir clear <clears throat> are you in a position to understand right okay id and the class we require to take yes we shall let me let me check i'm not sure i will i will explain i'm sure so just let me check sir that's all this is about what is the div tag right next uh, one more thing sir one more i have already one division in this i have one paragraph in there in this paragraph here just i'm taking sir okay so just uh, durga 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 soft something like i want to highlight the only this inline text inline text i want to define style only for this this inline text then automatically can you please guys sir what i have to take span tag are you getting what i have to take sir better to take span next up what style you want sir better to take span span like background are you getting background he is uh, some yellow like this i'm taking sir background is yellow now this particular data is going to come is going to come in the yellow color like clear yellow background background yellow color is going to come automatically so div tag under css span both the things are same but the div is nothing but a group of elements but span is nothing but just the inline text a particular part of the text if you want to give some special styling then automatically we can go for that okay we can we can go for this like clear right yes you are allowed to use no problem at all id selector 
then you have to define the style only for id remember that you require to define the style only for id okay one minute sir just uh, have a look once just i'm taking already it is there with me one minute let me start our atom so that our life will become very easy <coughs> yes one minute one minute. <coughs> Aman, can you please log out and log in again so that it will come? One minute, sir. All this nonsense is not required for us. Okay. Yes, welcome. Like all these things are not required. So just uh, there it is. So CSS demo here. Have you remember right? Demo dot HTML like this. I think, sir. Assume that assume already I defined sir. Assume assume that sir. This is this is the body. Just observe that a bit very carefully, sir. This is the body body like this. Now, sir, here have you observed div div is there div is there like sir. Can you please tell total how many div tags are there? First div tag. Next one after that second div tag. Next time after that third div tag is there, sir. Next time, how many span span tags are available, sir? For in the first div, a user already span. No. In the in the span I defined somewhere in the third div. Only only one, sir. Only one span tag like. Now I want to define style for this. I want to I want to define style for this. What we can able to take here is observe that. <clears throat> How it looks like. One minute. Oh, <laughs> how it looks like something is there, something because in the CSS already I defined some CSS already I defined. So that's all. Forget about this is CSS. Don't worry about this type. Right? Okay. So that's all. Nothing is there, sir. Nothing is there. Now observe. This is the normal data. This is H1 tag, paragraph. This is H1 tag, paragraph. H1 tag, paragraph. Something like this. We have right. Sir, now my, my question here is observe that carefully, sir. Now my point here is observe that. So for the for everything present inside div tag, I want a blue color. I want, I want blue color, sir. For everything in the div tag, I want blue color. Then automatically in the CSS, div I'm taking, div, sir, uh, what, what I'm taking, color, color is a blue I'm taking, sir. Assume that. Can you please guide uh, this blue color is applicable. Blue color is applicable for all for all elements are not for all divs sir first div sir this is the first div this is the second div next time after that this is the third div third div for all divs it is applicable sir now have a look once have a look once all the things by default is coming all the things by default is coming in the blue color right sir now my requirement is sir i don't want all divs sir i want only for the first div sir i want only for the first div sir only for the first div what you have to take you require to go for either id or class next immediately i will ask sir do you want this style only for particular div or multiple divs i want only for one div only if you want only one div better to go for id is equal to id is equal to sir you can use a special div special div line now you require to define sir you require to define styling only for this no problem at all no problem at all here just uh, observe a bit very carefully sir what i'm taking here is sir uh, which is symbol i forgot sir which is symbol anyone can you please guide correct which is symbol yes sir. special view special special view i'm taking here as a symbol special uh, special view sir like uh, here color is the uh, red i'm taking assume that color is red red i'm taking sir now do you know do you know observe that Sir, here just one minute, one minute. <clears throat> yeah, here I didn't save HTML file. That is the problem. Here observe that now only for the first div color got changed. Regarding only for the first div color got changed. Everyone can able to understand, right? Yes, ma'am. Are you in a position to understand? Yes, I want only for the particular, only for the particular, then automatically like this. Swaru, the name need not start with a special, any name, even Swaru also you can take, no problem at all okay next uh, sir for the second one and the third div i want to define something some border i want to define then immediately what you can able to take here yeah, sir you want special special you want the special style for div sir for how many divs you want you want only for one div or you want for multiple divs 
sir i want for two division but not all only for two division then better to go for better to go for class better to go for class attribute okay class is equal to what i am taking sir so uh, some group group of divs group of divs like this i am taking sir class is equal to group of divs for this also i want the class is equal to group of divs like this i am taking sir group of divs like this sir now if i define style with the group of divs then that style is applicable only for these two now observe that now have a look once here i am taking here i am taking please guide how i can able to take that group of uh, group of divs group of divs here i am taking border border okay border i am taking here i will observe right border uh, what we call uh, uh, what we what what we can use uh, red border i want next and after the groovy are you getting that groovy border i want next 20 px i want sir order is not important 20 px i want then automatically how it looks like sir observe that carefully sir yes it is going to come for these two automatically border by default is going to come any doubt <coughs> any doubt about this clear right sir now my requirement is here durga soft is there durga soft is there sir this durga soft is surrounded with the span span sir can you please uh, keep this durga soft uh, with the uh, sir yellow background yellow background this is about my requirement right okay sir now span i am going to take span okay sir background background sir which background you want sir yellow yellow background i want then automatically can you please have a look once automatically durga soft is going to come with the yellow color background yes any doubt about the div id next the class and then element these are things are clear next the span meant for a particular text if you want to style inline text inline text then we should go for span tag okay divs are nothing but to group a group of elements i want to group sir a multiple elements into one division then we can go for a div div tag and a span tag we never going to use if you are not going to use a css these two tags especially meant for meant for css styling only that's all friends if you feel comfortable happily we can start the next cinema clear right can i go for the next one yes friends can i go to the next one yeah sunil uh, someone asked about can you please explain about the div tag and uh, span tag now the person who asked are you getting clarity yeah okay now next the cinema let me go for sir up to this we covered three basic css selectors right sir now the next the cinema we require to talk about sir advanced css selectors are you getting advanced advanced css selectors we are going for that okay what are these advanced css selectors right very very simple sir the first one the first one star selector okay star selector sir basic is basic tags are nothing but you know basic css selectors are element class id but now some more extra things we are going to talk about advanced css selectors sir first one star 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 means all all means star selector right second one sir descendant selectors are you getting descendant descendant selectors descendant selectors descendant means uh, next level next level increasing descending decreasing order descendant means uh, sub level sub sub inspector like uh, sub level next level like uh, descendant next the uh, third one sir adjacent are you getting right third one adjacent adjacent selectors adjacent selectors sir right? fourth one sir attribute selector attribute selectors attribute selectors like sir fifth one if you consider nth of type selector nth of type selector okay nth of type selector sir these are five in general considered as advanced css selectors sir. if you were basic three plus these five then majority of the css by default is going to be completed okay remember that are you getting can you please spell out what what the first ones are star selector descendant selectors adjacent selectors attribute selectors nth of type selectors okay like these are the selectors right okay 
now what is the meaning of this let me go for a small chota example so that you can give it because i want to use all these things huh? so let me bring uh, one small example which covers all the things like first uh, let me let me talk about css file no oh, sorry html right sir let me go for i don't want to take anything sir just let me remove this because because some some i want to cover all these things so corresponding meaningful example must be required that's why just uh, let me take some h1 tag i'm taking advanced css selectors <coughs> advanced css selectors demo advanced css selectors demo like this i'm taking sir next uh, i'm taking one hyperlink one one hyperlink i'm going to take what is my hyperlink is a a anchor tag i'm taking so if you click this one to which page i have to go sir google.com assume that sir i have to i have to click uh, if i click this one then automatically it has to the link should should goes to google like that. sir click here click here to go to to go to google to go to google like this i i specified sir assume that because attribute selector all the things are required to i require to explain that's why compulsory just let me go for a small meaningful example right now i'm taking ul anyone can you please tell what the meaning of ul sir please respond what the meaning of ul re no response uh, unordered list are you getting next in the compulsory li must be required li okay i'm taking sir cat i'm taking some cat i'm taking next and after that let me duplicate this line control shift d d like this right control shift d duplicate sir sir rat i'm taking next and after that some dog like this i'm taking some some animals right okay like this next uh, list of top movies i'm taking just observe h4 the list of the list of top movies like this i'm just i'm taking the list of top movies right sir again i'm taking u l sir again i'm taking u l in that l i in the l i i'm taking l i okay sir just uh, any movies can i can i spell out any top movies right uh, any top movies k rangasthalam sir it is a one wonderful telugu movie sir the remaining non telugu people may not uh, okay next uh, yes i'm taking so something like uh, bahubali bahubali next and after that uh, uh, any vikram vikram what is that veda vikram veda hindi movie vikram veda vikram veda okay uh, next and after that one more sir just uh, let me let me take one more kala not that much good movie man okay like this this is the just i'm taking the list of so just observe because matter of two minutes uh, just a matter of two 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 minutes right don't worry because all these advanced tags if i want to do that then obviously must be required okay like next uh, i'm i'm taking list of top websites mostly this is the last one don't worry about that sir. list of top websites i want to take sir it's for tag i'm taking list of of top websites assume the list of top websites like this i'm taking again i'm taking another list because nth of type if you want then automatically compulsory this type of thing must be required yeah sir here take a bit very special care ye anchor tag i'm taking sir ye i'm taking here just observe that anchor anchor tag just i'm taking ye <coughs> here anchor tag i'm taking href so http okay amazon.com can i use it in the uh, amazon.com next uh, here i'm taking amazon just uh, observe that amazon like this i'm taking sir so in that list item itself is nothing but link sir hyperlink like this next uh, like this i'm taking next uh, flip card okay here flipkart i'm taking next what is the website for the flipkart is 
flipkart <coughs> flipkart like this but if the third one i'm taking sir paytm something like that you can able to take any anything paytm these days it's a very popular okay paytm like a paytm.com paytm.com something like I'm, I'm taking sir that's all this is about sir my my requirement observe that sir how it looks like let me remove all these nonsense in the css file how it the uh, ah uh, how it it is going to be it is going to be there sir just uh, let me refresh okay that's all this is about one small chota example one small one small chota example like advanced css selectors remove here one hyperlink is there next a list another list is there the list of top movies again it is next time after that this one is h4 tag next time after that again these things are there sir okay like now take a bit very very special care how many advanced selectors are there can you can you spell out sir five advanced selectors are there sir css selectors are star selector descendant selector adjacent selector next attribute selector nth of type selector now you have to get clarity about all these things right now i'm ready to go for first one sir star selector can you please tell what is the meaning of star star means what star star means everything star means what everything sir star means everything everything something like all all like this right so this style is applicable for everything in the web page for everything in the web page right suppose i'm taking star mark star mark curly brace color is a blue i'm taking assume that color is the blue i'm taking sir what it means sir what it means sir you know sir for all the tags sir, text color should be blue like this right let me cross check is it really easy is, is it going to work or not yes sir. this type of selector is by default considered as star uh, are you seeing right what is the way i'm defining star curly brace open color is the blue like this right now let me refresh this one have you observed total thing is coming in the blue color or not hey observe that respond total thing is coming in the blue color or not yes perfectly it's going to come so such type of thing is nothing but star selector star means everything man. everything like that. next uh, what is the second type second category sir descendant selectors descendant selectors very very important sir so nothing is there to discuss about the star okay second one is the descendant selector descendant means uh, uh, higher level or lower level anyone can you please tell higher level or lower level higher higher level or lower level lower oh, yeah. descendant descendant means what man? lower level uh, ascending means higher level regarding descending sub level sub level means lower lower only so descending means higher to lower something like now what it means is observe very carefully sir this is a very very important if you observe html page html page l i present inside u l correct or not l i present inside u l l i is the descendant to u l sir u l is the descendant to body body remember that similarly a a present inside l i are getting in this scenario a present inside l i l i okay but this a not present inside l i remember that this a not present inside l i so but this anchor tag present inside li now my question is for every anchor tag present inside li i want to define the style <laughs> observe that so not for every anchor tag sir if anchor tag defined inside li then only apply the style then only applicable this style is applicable how you can able to do that here i want the style i want the style only for these three anchor tags not for every anchor tag remember not for every anchor tag so these anchor tags present inside l i okay for all anchor tags present inside l i i want the style are you getting right how you can able to do that very very simple sir so which is the parent tag please respond which is the parent tag every anchor tag present inside li present inside li li is the parent 
next which is the child tag a tag is the child tag that's all now observe that now observe that l i after that the space after that the space under then a so this l i means a parent parent okay this a means a child sir a means a child for every anchor tag present inside l i i want to apply some style what style i want to apply what style what style i want to i want to apply sir background background okay blue i want sir background blue i want the color white i want something like background blue color white i want do you know this is style applicable for every anchor tag present inside l i only anchor tag present inside l i then only it is applicable such a type of styling is by default considered a yeah? descendant selector everyone can able to understand are you are you feeling comfortable what the meaning of descendants are you are talking about parent and child so for every anchor tag present inside l i this style is applicable okay even if you want you can take u l also now observe this now observe you bit carefully sir what it means what it means for every anchor tag present inside l i that the l i present inside u l then only it is applicable if l i present inside ordered list then this style is not applicable remember any number of levels sir you can able to take sir but this style is applicable only for this anchor tag but this anchor tag should be present inside l i that l i should be present inside u l if you are talking about parent child 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 like this right such a type of styling is by default considered as descendant selectors clear any doubt okay let me show the effect is it going to be is it going to work or not okay let me show let me show the effect right okay here i'm taking okay here i'm taking just like this u l l i even l i i don't want <clears throat> okay observe that l i i don't want next let me remove this star selector so that you will get much clarity now i will look once sir everything saved right yes both the thing both files are saved sir now observe that a bit carefully are you are you in a position to see right sir do you know do you know if here for every anchor tag present inside li then only the style by default applicable sir here only but it is also anchor tag sir it is also anchor tag but uh, this style is not applicable for this because this anchor tag is not inside li clear right what the meaning of this and selector just aware but how many times we are going to use but may not uh, but you should aware this type of styling is also applicable suppose my question is legend legend is concerned if i remove this l i what is this one are if i remove this l one what is this one uh, what is the meaning of this uh, are i removed l i then automatically what selector it is element selector element selector for every anchor tag for every anchor tag it is applicable so whether it is present inside l i or u l or somewhere anywhere sir for every anchor tag it is applicable okay now observe the difference observe the difference earlier earlier like this but if you consider if i remove that then have a look once then automatically for all anchor tags by default is applicable for all anchor tags by default it's applicable everyone can able to understand right any doubt okay that's all this is what what you have to aware sir so in which it is always going to cross check so this type of styling is by default considered as yeah, descendant selector sir so for anchor tag if anchor tag present inside li if this li present inside ul then only it is applicable parent child child such a type of thing is by default considered as yes. such a type of thing by default considered as yes. okay like like a descendant selectors right yeah <coughs> Uh, Malaya, you are asking some doubt. One minute, let me cross check. Uh, sir, Malaya is asking, uh, L I A like this is there, sir. L I like. Uh, here, why this one is coming in the blue color? This is about his doubt. Because it is the anchor tag, right? Anchor tag default default is always going to show in the blue color only. Hyperlinks in the hyperlinks 
in in our html is always going to show with the blue color that is the default style yes okay now now can you please show star once sir star selector what the meaning of star selector sir can you please respond hmm. i covered already right i covered already star what the meaning of star what the what the meaning of star yes all all now for everything background is the blue color is the white everything background is the blue color is the white now observe that everything background is the blue and the color is the white correct yes nand kishore for all including body tag also including body tag also sir for any tag you can define id you can define class akshay for any tag you can define id you can define class akshay okay for anchor tag also if you want you can able to define id if you want you can able to define sir class okay that's all so just we covered about two tags what is the first one star selector i mean star selector second one descendant selector next the third one sir hmm. one minute <clears throat> yes man sorry any doubt Uh, Jana Charya, uh, underline and a blue color we can able to remove for anchor tags. Yes, there is a possibility there. We will discuss. Don't worry. Jana Charya, we can able to do that. There is some possibilities there. We will discuss. Yeah. Now, can I go to the next level? Now, uh, general sibling selectors means this one only. Kamalakar, sibling selectors means uh, no. Sibling, sibling selectors means uh, next we are going to talk. That is the adjacent. Siblings and adjacents both are same. Adjacent selectors also known as sibling selectors. Sibling are getting that two side by side. Yes, we can able to use U L A. No problem at all. Acceptable. Okay, someone is asking, uh, Shanmuga number, he is asking, can you please tell, okay, anyway it is applicable, can I take like this, can I take like this, okay, is it, is it valid or not, please guide, please guide, so inside UL, if A tag is there, means uh, need not be directly man, need not be directly, 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 so inside UL tag, okay, if anywhere within LI, somewhere it is there, then it is applicable, valid, valid sir. Clear, right? Sharmoga. Okay? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it is. So, need not be immediate parent, man. Need not be immediate parent. Parent and child. Need not be immediate parent. So, maybe grandparent, grandchild, such type of things also there. Sir, can I take body? <laughs> can I take body? Inside body tag, for every anchor tag, I want to apply. Is it valid or not? Yes, perfectly itself is acceptable, right? Yes, it's acceptable. Okay. Like CSS is not that much strong checking man. Don't worry. More flexibility by default will be there. Okay. Next the cinema. Okay. Edges and the selectors. What is the meaning of edges and selectors? Right. A small chota example. Yes, sir. So now edges and means side by side. Are you getting edges and means side by side? So now A plus U L. Now observe a bit very carefully, sir. For every UL tag, adjacent to A. Are you getting for every UL tag, adjacent to A. Adjacent to A. So, here which is symbol I am taking? Plus symbol. Which is symbol I am taking? Plus symbol. Right? But if it is a descendant selector, space must be required. Observe that. Descendant selector means a space. But adjacent selector means a plus. Plus. Okay. Now, I am taking color. Color is red, I am taking, sir. Color is red, red, I am taking. Sir, what it means, sir? 
for every u l which is adjacent to a can you please make a text color yes red like this right sir let me cross check my css i don't want to do anything just sir, let me remove here have a look once now can you please tell which u l adjacent to a can you please tell which u l adjacent to a adjacent to a sir this u l i'm sure sir this u l is just adjacent to a tag a tag is there after that immediately u l is coming u l is coming but this u l is not adjacent to a this u l is not adjacent to a sir remember this for this u l is adjacent to a that's why sir i want sir not websites janacharya this u l adjacent to a okay side to a after a immediately sir this u l is coming remember that now uh, what i want to take here observe that let me <coughs> let me take this is the css sir a plus u l what is the meaning of a plus u l sir anyone can you please guide anyone can you please guide what is the meaning of so uh, what is the what is the meaning of a a plus u l for every u l tag for every u l tag adjacent to adjacent adjacent to which tag sir a tag a tag this style is applicable remember that sir for every u l tag adjacent to a tag this style by default is applicable remember that okay sir now have a look once sir observe that carefully observe that automatically for this it is applicable or not yes this one is applicable right okay like this you should aware <coughs> mm. yes we can take u l plus a then automatically what will happen is u l plus a what will happen is nickel sir nickel is asking another small doubt nickel is asking another small doubt can i take like this or not can i take like this or not can you please guide is it possible or not possible possible but meaning is going to be changed correct or not are possible meaning is going to be changed what is the meaning yes for every a adjacent to u l sir style is applicable sir here the style is applicable for u l tag but here the style is applicable for anchor tag observe that for every a adjacent to u l sir style is applicable for anchor tag but not for u l tag but here style is applicable for u l tag but not for anchor tag nikhil are you able to understand <coughs> okay you can take but the problem is here you are defining the style for u l but here you are defining the style for anchor tag you can able to take sir that's all this is about the okay adjacent tag okay plus a symbol should be there sir make make sure if i can take like this div plus a p div plus a p plus p like i'm taking color is the blue can you please tell sir this style is applicable for which tag this style is applicable for which tag yes ma'am this style is applicable is applicable ah can you please guide is applicable for p tag for p for p tag which is adjacent to div which is adjacent adjacent to div tag remember this if it is adjacent to div then only sir for that p this style is applicable observe the difference right okay like not it is not applicable for every tag for every p tag it is applicable if any p tag adjacent to div tag then only it is applicable okay like clear if i can take like this if i can take like like this one sir d i v d i v and then p d i v and then p then automatically can you please tell this style is applicable for ayo can you can you spell out this style is applicable for for every p tag ah uh, for every p tag present inside for every p tag present inside div tag this type of thing is nothing but descendant this type of thing is nothing but adjacent observe the difference right adjacent means plus div uh, this one is nothing but like well 
next last uh, one more doubt sir before going further just uh, let me clarify the doubt so that remaining people also can able to get them. what happens if we have one more tag in between a and the ul or ul and the a okay then it's not applicable yes malaya then it's not applicable if ul ul is a side to a just the adjacent to a then only in the middle one more tag is there then this style is not applicable remember in the parent and child parent need not be direct parent maybe superior i mean ancestor also applicable but adjacent means compulsory side by side in the middle one more person is coming then now i can use the word it is the adjacent okay yeah yeah we can able to take uh, we can we can able to take something like the uh, div div p next and after the ul i'm taking like this what's the meaning of this one anyone can you please tell anyone anyone can you please tell div plus p plus ul what's the meaning of this one what what it means sir okay sir like what what it means is for every ul tag which is adjacent to p that p is adjacent to div then only then only it is applicable so div followed by p followed by ul then only the style is applicable yes we can able to define <clears throat> no problem at all next uh, i'm taking div sir div sir p sir div p plus ul i'm taking <laughs> can you please tell just uh, something like mathematics man <laughs> we are not nothing something like mathematics can you please tell what you put this one so what is what is this space means what descendant descendant okay what it means is for every for every okay like like this one for every sir paragraph ul present inside the div present inside the div if that ul is adjacent to p then only it is applicable for all uls which are adjacent to p which are present inside the div then only the study is applicable something like okay but anyway whether we are going to use all these things or not don't worry man just the possibilities are there these things are by default considered as advanced selectors okay like sir everyone can able to understand first three selectors star descendant adjacent next fourth one sir very very important fourth and fifth make sure fourth one attribute selector fourth one attribute attribute selectors right sir what is the meaning of attribute selector sir sometimes what will happen is every password password field do you know password 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 field password field how you can define password field can you please guide can you please guide input type is equal to type is equal to password input type is equal to password okay name is equal to value is equal to something like you can you can able to take name is equal to value is equal to like like we can we can able to take sir do you know for every password field for every password field field can you please uh, bring a background color at the red can you please bring a background color at the red something like um, i want to define style based on attribute are you getting this on attribute attribute i want to define the style what it means sir very simple here tag name in this what is the tag name can you please guide in this shaded part which is the tag name input is the tag name and the which is the attribute attribute is nothing but what type is the attribute attribute name is the type what is the value of that attributes are password are you getting for all type attributes i want a style if the type attribute is the password i want to define a style so something like we can define style based on the attribute also such a type of thing is by default considered as attribute selectors okay itself is also possible right okay like now my question how you can able to define that attribute selector okay very simple for every anchor tag listen this one sir for every anchor tag which attribute is there h r e f attribute is there sir anchor tag contain h r e f attribute Anchor tag contain HR F attribute. Color, color is red I want. Color is red I want. What it means is for every HR EF attribute of the anchor tag, color is the red, red I want. 
are getting color itself with the red red i want something like uh, how you can you can able to do that of course i will i will i will explain don't worry about that okay are you getting that sir next uh, background is uh, yellow i background is uh, yellow yellow like this i want sir these are type of thing is by default consider are attribute select uh, remember that okay next uh, for every one minute let me use that in our example okay here i don't want all this just a h r e f can you please observe the syntax right a is the tag name next up within square bracket attribute name within square bracket attribute name curly brace open and so on now have a look once have a look once are you getting right every every attribute every anchor h uh, r e f attribute of anchor tag anchor tag yes color is because it is hr of attribute hr of attribute hr of attribute hr of attribute like this type now my question is sir i don't want for every hr of attribute for every hr of attribute i don't want sir if for hr of value is a uh, http http google dot com then only then only observe that sir then only so for hre of attribute value is this then only can you please apply this style otherwise don't apply don't apply attribute level with the specified value also we are just a specifying that how you can have a look once have a look once only for this it is applicable because internal its value is google.com are you getting internal its value is google.com that's why it is applicable for the google clear yes okay dev dikshit order of attributes is not important in any order you can take dev in any order you can take no problem at all so something like type name place order in any order you can take acceptable <coughs> yes this is nothing but attribute suppose i'm taking something like sir here observe the import import input is the tag name input is the tag name okay for every type attribute wherever it is there sir i want the background color background color red sir i want background color red for all type attributes input input type attribute background color by default will come in the red suppose if type is equal to password only password fields will come with the red color background we can define style based on attributes also such a type of thing is nothing but attribute selectors clear yes here only one value attribute is only one value okay like now next cinema last one sir what is the last one i forgot we covered already star selector second one descendant selector descendant selector we covered what is the third one uh, adjacent selector we covered attribute selectors we covered last one sir nth of type selector what is that nth of type selector that what we are going to discuss yeah uh, anand yes it is going to work out i hope yes can you please cross check it is going to be work out it is going to work out yes sir what about this combination anand singh is asking like this is it going to work out or not yes just possible here import type is equal to text and the name is equal to username as per syntax it should be it should work just a try once create some four or five text fields where name is the username is this style is applicable or not just scratch it okay like next one sir nth of type selector yeah CSS file. Someone is asking, can you please show? Yeah, this is the CSS. Next up, last one, sir. Nth of type selector. What is the last last nth of type selector? This is the very rare we are going to use. But anyway, even this thing is also possible, man. Nth of type advanced selectors are not that much frequently used. Okay, we are always going to use element selectors. in the first scenario class selector and id selectors right but anyway these things also possible what the last one 
I'm, I'm ready to take. What about the last one? Nth of type selector side. What it means is, legend a bit very carefully, sir. Sometimes, sir, for every second Li, can you please define some style? For every second Li, can you please define some style? For every third UL, can you please define some style? Something like, okay? For every Nth, nth currents, nth currents of the tag, I want to define style. I want to define the style. Then nth of type, nth occurrence, occurrence of that type, sir. Very simple. L i, L i colon. Observe carefully, sir. L i colon. Nth of type. Nth of type. Sir, what is the n value? 2, sir. What is the n value? 2, 2. Here I am taking color, colon, red, like this I am taking. Anyone, can you please guess, sir? This style is applicable for for which tag? Please respond. Can you please guess? Anyone, can you please guess? Huh? For all LI tags, this style is applicable. Or for every second LI tag, this style is applicable. Remember that, sir. For every nth of type 2, nth of type 2 means every second Li, this style is applicable. For every second Li, this style is applicable, right? Okay, what it means? Let me, what I will take is, let me take this one, sir. Let me, let me take this in our example, so that you can get much clarity. Here I am taking Li, nth of type 2, color is red, I am taking, sir. So in our in our HTML, HTML, there are several LIs are there. This is the first LI, second LI, third LI. Sir, next fourth LI, fifth LI, sixth LI, seventh LI. These things are also LIs only, right? Sir, every second LI, can you please apply the style? Okay. Can you please apply the style? Now observe that. Here, second LI. Here, second LI, it is applicable. Here also second LI, it is applicable. Are you getting? Here also it's applicable, but anyway, default it is dominating. Default hyperlink is dominating here. Here also red color is coming. Have you observed right? For every second Li, okay, can you please do that? Something like this. Okay. So sometimes I don't want Li, sir. I want UL. UL. What is the meaning of this one? Please guide. What is the meaning of this one? For every second UL, text color should be red. For every second UL, text color should be red. Should be red. Okay. Now observe. How many ULs are there? This is the first UL. This is the second UL. This is the third UL. Then for every second UL means, uh, this is the second UL. This is the second, second UL, right? Now, have a look once, sir. Automatically, for the second UL, after that style by default applicable, this type of thing is nothing but, okay, uh, this is nth, nth of type, nth of type selector, right, okay, like this. Sir, now, there are some more options are there, don't worry, even need not be two, sir, even need not be, need not be two. If you want, uh, you can able to take, okay, even also. If you want, you can take even, even also, even, even means for every even number, for every even number, it is by default applicable. Clear, right? Are getting even? This type of options also by default applicable. Don't worry. For every even numbered Li, automatically this style is applicable like this. Okay. That's all. Now, yes, even odd. That option applicable, applicable man. Rohit. Okay. That's all. Just all these things are UI basic idea purpose only, but some more we may miss. Okay, we may miss. Just uh, go through that if you are very much interested. But this knowledge is more enough just uh, for our Python Django developers. Okay, remember that. So these uh, five selectors are by default considered as yes, advanced selectors. Are you getting the basic idea? Can you please confirm? Are you getting the basic idea? Yes, what are the basic selectors? Advanced selectors of the CSS, right? Okay. Sir, oddly, 50% of CSS by default is going to be completed. Nothing, nothing will be there, sir. Next time after that, there are two small subtopics are there. We require to discuss about that. One is uh, 
CSS inheritance. Next and after that specificity like a box model something is there. Next after box model, how you can able to talk about fonts on the text font font tag text tag. How you can able to talk about fonts Google fonts? How you can able to use in our application? All those cinema we are going to discuss. And then some three to four small small applications we are going to discuss. With that CSS concept, we will give send out.